Okay, so I've been I've been told that um, gonk, gonk. that Greg Cody talked about what happened at Highlight on his podcast, so therefore it is fair game for content on our show. <laughs> ah, thank okay, you, Greg. Okay, well, let's talk about this because I've been calling him with genuine concern. Yeah, he, I'm sorry I didn't get yeah, back. Him and his son. Him and his I son. I did call you back both, once. Yeah, a little phone tag. A little game of phone tag. Both of whom totally ignored me after I learned the information that a terribly wonderful, sad championship appearance at High Lie ended with Greg Cody off camera for all the footage that we got. Uh, the, to, co- to correct you, it wasn't the end. It was the middle. You just left super early. Correct. <laughs> it yeah. ended with the Sessa Cyclones reigning victorious. Exactly. Right. It ended in triumph. Yes, it did. It game ended in joy. The game didn't even come close to stopping, by the way. No, not at all. <laughs> but thankfully, Nor would he wanted it well, that I way. What happened in the, the middle people... was a, a, I mean, it, it changed the energy for a little bit. Like for, we, for my whole weekend. Yeah, they, they, they had us in the first half, can't lie. But we, <laughs> Should we but tell we the rallied. audience what happened? Yeah. yeah. I uh, wanted to get there, but oh, Billy, you guys Billy are doesn't know. on the inside of the joke without having told the audience what actually happened. That uh, happens Sugat's a lot doesn't know. here. Sugat doesn't know either. I have no idea. Yep. You guys have yet to tell the audience or the people in this room what happened, which is not funny, but it is. So we thought Greg Cody, we we thought Greg Cody might have died during highlight. It was oh. a very scary situation because the Cyclones were up, and uh, we heard this loud thud behind us in the owner's box. And we turned around; it was very scary, like Greg, genuinely. I know genuinely. I sound like Pablo right now, like I'm smiling, but it was genuinely scary. Yeah, well, Greg, but wait, Greg, if I may. Because I do want to tell, as we weave in and out of scary life and death situations with your father, that seconds earlier, me and Chris Cody had been roaring with laughter in the corner because Greg Cody ruined a play, a very intimate play with people, uh, just a small group of people, while throughout the final song and intimate act, just coughing nonstop, Stifling a, claw, a cough, ruining the play. That's not true. And you did, Dad. You fault. stepped all over the finale coughing. It's not his fault. I mean, it's not his fault. It's it's not funny. It's terrible. Yeah. Didn't ruin the play. Any, anyone that listens to this show knows that Greg's had coughing fits. So something like that w- was going on. We're, we're watching the the highlight match, our Sessa Cyclones, and we hear a thud behind us. We turn around. Mike Fuentes is rushing over to Greg Cody, who is face down on the floor, motionless. Uh, It was very scary. Chris yells, Dad. It was heartbreaking. We all spring into action, start slapping Greg's face. He comes to, and he's like, what happened? Thank God. Yeah. Thank God he was okay. He fainted. He just basically, he's done it. It's happened. He can tell you about it. Like in seven months now, I think two or three times where he tries to stifle a cough and he essentially chokes himself out. One of the things that is happening, I, I think, is your father is stubborn and doesn't want to appear to be coughing in front of people. And so he tries to muffle him down with an unbelievable pain threshold. And it's awful. And he probably gets lightheaded. And yes. he also went to the doctor. Like, as soon as it happened, everyone's like, he's got to go to the ho- EKGs. He literally came from the doctor a day earlier. His heart is perfect. It's just he stifles a cough. He doesn't give his brain oxygen. And he passes out and he wakes up like, what happened? It was a clear faint. Like, the, the, all the. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, that, well, he immediately turned it into content. It, no, it's, a, <laughs> it's a clear faint now. I must admit, not, oh, not in the knowing moment, the context, you don't know, right? not knowing that he had. He had had some of these prior to, I, I was obviously thinking worst case scenario, and I was very happy that Greg came around. He even asked me for a beer later on that I actually bought, but then thought better of later. Right. In the, That's in the how you do it. You pop off a fainting by drinking a beer. Yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. wanted a beer, yeah. and he created a chant for one of our players. <laughs> I did. Like yeah. ten minutes later, <laughs> he, po- he, he, he yeah. bounced back, and we, we should faint more often. <laughs> he created I mean, a cheer. Yeah. <laughs> once he, uh, yeah, it, like the cyclone started losing, but once uh, Greg and everybody's nerves calmed a little bit, and he started injecting his humor, the cyclones rallied. It was a very odd night, but a bit of a spark plug, ultimately. Thank you. I don't want to turn this into a mythological tale of heroism as he hey. led the Cyclones. So does our Willis Reed. So does I would have you guessed. You do what you got to do to yeah. get a win. Yeah. If I hadn't left early, I would have guessed that Greg Cody had had one too many giant beers. No, that's not. That sometimes is the case. But in this case, that was not he the case. He more stumbles not just like <laughs> the fall we saw. That was not. <laughs> that was not drunk. No, I, I. The thought runs through your mind like, oh my god, Greg just dropped yeah. dead. It was very scary for a brief moment in time. Thankfully, 
It was just him passing out. He had the same exact reaction. If you've ever seen anybody faint, he had no idea what happened. He came around very quickly. What happened? He scuffed his face up a little bit by his glasses hidden in his face. But other than that, Greg was fine and nerves were calmed. It was like, I think it affected, not to downplay my dad, but it affected all of us because my dad had no idea. We were all like genuinely... Like, there was 10 seconds where I was like, my dad is dead. Yeah. And I'm not no. even kidding, No, dude. no, no. Jesus. It was legitimately... No. Jesus. The, yes. I, I was saying it was legitimately the scariest moment of my life for 10 seconds. Yeah, I can't, it, get the, I can't get the sound of you screaming dad out of my head, like, since that happened. That was very scary for a brief moment. It, I, like, still thinking about it. it and I, I, I was just sitting in the corner for, like, an hour. I mean, I finally, after, like, an hour, I was, like, finally, like, all right, let me... My dad's now cheering. I can get up again. But it was, like, I needed to just sit. It was... But you know what? Like, if that was the end, I was saying to myself, like, Greg would have wanted to go out this way. <laughs> at a fronton? <laughs> at, a, at, a, at an empty fronton. <laughs> <laughs> partially Watching the fronton. No, no, no. <laughs> the way he wants it to be is with Jimmy Buffett and stuff. But if I told Greg... If it had been the end, and I got a conversation with him moments later, and we brought him back to life... <laughs> He would have told me that would have been a pretty good ending. <laughs> Honestly, there was more to the narcissism here of why this would have been the perfect ending for him. He said the last thing he remembered was watching a video, Dan, that you posted of him in the bathroom. That's he was right. literally on a chair <laughs> watching a video of himself, <laughs> and that's his last memory before he fell over. That's exactly right. how he would have wanted Just to go out. I already started playing Lovely Cruise on my phone yeah, thank for you. his request. I love the idea of, uh, of, of uh, the, the highlight match going on while they put the white sheet it, over my uh, <laughs> lifeless body. It was not stopping. Chula! They were credit to the magic uh the magic city folks because they they were very quick in springing into yeah. action and checking on you yeah. and you assured them that you didn't need an ambulance. But the game didn't like stop. The game did not stop. I like don't stop. No. I mean, come on. Doesn't stop for anybody. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Greg, if if a genie had come to me beforehand and I said, you know, one wish Greg Cody, how does it end whenever it ends? Keeling over at High Lie as the center of as the centerpiece of one of our events, while listening to himself, while listening right. to yourself and remembering of like, your last memory, a video of yourself emerging from the bathroom to give content, you would have said, "Pretty good finale." Not bad, yeah. I <laughs> Top five for better. sure, right? Top five yeah. ways to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 For, yeah. for a brief moment, I was also worried that oh man, this news of this is going to get out there and people are going to be very scared. But then I realized only two fans are here right now, and they got treated to a show. What well, an exclusive they got! Tim Reynolds. He had left, I think. Yeah, he had yeah, left. He left. Yeah, he really? missed. A, yeah, he missed the scoop of his career. Wow. Tim Reynolds was there covering you the event. You guys had a cover up. Yeah, we had, we covered it up successfully because no one was in attendance. <laughs> one of the other funny moments of this was my dad at the end on the way home or driving home. I'm driving him, and he blames COVID for this because yeah. he's like, "You can't cough anymore." He started doing a rant, a show bit about how you can't cough in society. He's right. And People that's why, he's, yeah. and that's yeah. why yeah. he stifles the cough, and that's why he passes out. It's because he's so embarrassed to cough. Right. So, Dad, the lesson to be learned from this, you fainted three times now in six months. Oh. Walk out of the room and let it out, man. Let it go. Not let kidding. Fly, no Greg. bit here. Yeah. Fucking cough, man. Cough, dude. Right. Yep. Cough. Stop doing that because that was very, very scary. In Greg's defense, I and mean, when he coughs here, it's a whole big thing. You know what I mean? So maybe we've convinced him that he shouldn't be when coughing. When he does it on air, well, I think any segment he could just walk out. No, but what Chris is trying to say is when, you, and Greg is right, when you cough in public now on an airplane anywhere, you're being judged. People right. are judging you. It's ridiculous. It's like, whoa. Yes. Uh, I didn't realize I hadn't tied those two things together. I didn't realize that the shame ran that deep that three years ago this wouldn't have been a thing. But you're trying to muffle so much the fact that you're coughing because you think people are going to think you have a horribly contagious COVID. Right. Horribly contagious as the president has now declared the pandemic over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. You're, you're it's still ridiculous. carrying around the shame enough to pass out at High Lie. Well, I'm embarrassed by having a chronic cough, and it comes up on this show occasionally, and it should. It's part of who I am now, but uh, I'm embarrassed by that. And so when I'm coughing in public, um, I'm trying to muffle it. I, I just Well, Friday is an important data point, and as long as you're here and you got this ailment, by all means, feel free to cough, because I don't want to ever see what happened on Friday ever again. By the way, to our listening audience... 
please come on out yes. on Friday. Destiny Harden's going to be there. Greg might be there again. You uh, might see the same thing. Our, <laughs> our star quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke, will be out Get there. Get out of here. No, he will be out yeah. there. Now's the time for rallying. Uh, rallying around. How about Tyler's practice still the starter? Little, yeah. He's trust, the, on a you Friday think you're skipping night. practice? Uh, so come on out. We want to make a big scene. It's a rematch of the title game. We need more people. In the event that Greg Cody dies, he certainly wants more people to notice than just right. two. Thank you. So please come on out okay. on Friday to Magic City and Battle Court. For all of the people locally who have ridden with us for 20 years, uh, just so that you understand how silly and wonderful this joke is to be in this relationship with Highlight for us, because... 15 years ago, we were making the joke about trying to save Highlight and putting a thousand people in a poker room at like the start of this show, trying to fool around with going to the dirtiest, uh, saddest place and trying to revive it. And this we like, did it. I mean, uh, well, wait, for some magical nights, yes, we did it in a, in, a, in a home that was really sad from the 1980s. But now there's one fronton left in all of America for this entire Hispanic There's a couple sport. in Florida, but there's only one state in this country that's running Highlight. And Magic City's Battle Court is the creme de la creme in this country. And it's actually a really fun sport with all the, the rule changes that they've made. It's pretty exciting. Witty, like, you had a good time. That was your first Cyclone experience, right? Yeah, it's my first time watching Highlight. I was completely unfamiliar with the rules or what was happening. But it takes you about five minutes to figure out what's going on. And then you get really into it. By the end, we went through a fairly traumatic evening. I didn't realize how traumatic it was until we began this segment. Well, my dad doesn't know his faint. Well, do you guys think we should do on Friday the Greg Cody Memorial High Lie Magic <laughs> we City? We promise he won't still change. alive. I, well, I mean, but, uh, all the yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. We're not interrupting the flow all of the, the game. <laughs> a for we can give him Cody's a trilogy. Memorial. We can come see where it happened. We can type celebrate thing? Greg Cody. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> this isn't some little podunk league. This is Battle Court, and these are the reigning champs. Exactly. And there's a rematch out there. And I would greatly appreciate it, considering all the resources we've applied yeah. to this team. We ran it back. We have a really good reigning champion. Uh, we brought a championship to South Florida, and you're not out there supporting our clones. Yep. This is the national ESPN game. You can watch it on ESPN Plus if you'd like. Thank you to all the fans that are abroad that were watching it supporting our Cyclones. But get out there and fill those seats. There are no Mike, excuses. Mike, Still on it. Mike, to be fair, okay, <laughs> to be fair, until now we haven't actually requested that anyone join well, us. Well, it was assumed that if you if you build a championship yeah. team and you run it back, South Florida would support. This is we an event town, I was told. Dan, if you build it, they should we come. We tried yeah, to I mean. do it quietly. He tried. Chris Cody, as the owner, it went to his head for a while. He was wearing a cowboy hat. He still got a walking stick for a reason I don't understand. Uh, but he built a champion, and he did it kind of quietly. After we left ESPN, he's a symbol for power. I think the fans were in the parking lot. Like, I, I, you right. know, a couple bandstands. It was just bad it, angles. Sure. It was bad angles that we saw. Like, I think the crowd was, it was like 4,200 people. Like, I don't care what it looked Chris, like. Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but there seems to be a lot of new money. There is. League. The Chula Chargers have totally revamped really? their ownership suite. Every time we go in there, this was an away game for us, and it felt every yeah, bit of that. There was a huge contingent of Chula Chargers out there, and we're the reigning champs. We're a Cyclone Nation right now. Billy, what are you laughing about? In the about? same place. No, but it, we yeah. were on the road. Are you saying that Charger Nation travels? Let me is tell that? you something. Yeah. Keep an eye on the Chula Chargers okay. because they are totally. Robin and, and Spinner, where did these oh. guys come from? I tell from? you, Spinner yeah. impressed me. Really? Very he, was yeah. he was hurt last season. He was hurt last season. And You're Robin, I was told his dad it, teaches High Lie in the Philippines. Nice he only played cheap. one game, thank God. Nice wow. C can't you give somebody some incentives beyond the our NIL athletes? Mike might take a benched? picture with you. If you come out there and <laughs> if you come out there and support the Cyclones, right. and you see me out there. I'll be nice and take a photo with you. And it it really is a hangout with us. Like <laughs> our suite incentive. is like a, a stage so elevated two feet. Yeah. It's not like we're in an, like it's not a stadium owner suite. If you come out, you'll hang out it's with a party. all of us. We're we're out there. We're doing bits. We're we're getting the cyclones ready, and we have a good team. And it's an electric sport. Once with and our team really responds to when our crowds into it. So please come on out there. It's a time to rally around Greg, who's still alive. Rally around the champions, Cesta Cyclones. Exactly. Rally around the Tyler Van Dyke. Cody We're Memorial bringing it in. Friday night champion celebration of the Cyclones. Uh, you you call them the So Alones, or what were you guys doing? The, the, the joke clones. you were working on? Or like the Cesta Alones is the joke that we both ran with. <laughs> no crowd. Yeah, we trade Chris, I saw some video of you. I got to tell you, you have the swagger of an owner. You yeah, really yeah, do. Yeah, he does. The right. champ. You own that place. He's, he yeah. owns the Cesta yeah. Cyclones. Yeah. Not that hard to. He's the Jerry Jones 
of the do, league. Do you, do you understand what a do this like guy's it? a mastermind? He he ran it back. Everybody wants to go at the champ. He found a way to bring back that team's core. We got it's really the, good it's players. It's not me, though. It's the players, man. Carbayo, yeah. Manu, Manny. I mean, those three, that's a core that, Manny's you know. strong. He came back fitter this year. I noticed. Yeah. He, you guys motivated him. Yeah, Manny, Manny, yeah. Manny's one of, like, seven Sessa makers on the planet. He's the lifeblood of our team. We have a former Super Bowl champion on our team yeah. in Jeddon, who went by Tenard Davis at the U. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're a UM fan and you, and you like this show, Friday how, night should be a big day How else can we you. dress it up? Can't draft kings? Can't we give a prize or something? Like, what, just, are you, what are you doing? We have the champion battle court team, and we have us. And Greg Cody may or may not die. Mm -hmm. So that should be enough for you. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fall behind one of the couches, like on a shoulder? Was no, he, he slumped? He was his sitting. face first. He was face first sitting, on the floor. And he just fell left. No, here's the thing. I, I, I was sore the next morning. I have a, a big bruise on my upper left shoulder. Because you I just face planted on. No, I think I may have fallen I on my shoulder. I think you fell shoulder. left, Dad. You, you were sitting in a chair and yeah. you ended up. Yeah, no, he, he landed shoulder first. Yeah, he, he went did? left. Well, Thank when, you. I, when yeah. I turned around, you're, you were on your face. No, he did. So like, he ended gravity up. Gravity took his, its toll. Yeah, exactly. But was it ass up in the air? Was he on? No, like, no it was, looked face well, down. Face By the time he got on the floor, it was like one of those things where he fell left and then just kind of like his weight took him face down. Let me give some intel to non fainters out there. If you've never fainted, and this surprised me. I would have thought there was a moment, a second, where you feel yourself losing consciousness. Like, whoa, I'm, I'm woozy. Something's going on here, and you have time to grab a railing or something. That isn't the case. One second, you're coughing, and the next second, you're looking up from the ground, and 10 people are staring down oh, at you. Oh, but that's, I told you guys I passed out in a restaurant here, I don't know, six months ago, and, uh, and a bunch of people saw it. And I remember telling to my wife just sort of, groggily saying, hold on, give me a second, give me a second, I'll be fine in a second. And then I remember waking up with people around me. But it's not from one second to the other that um, I didn't know when I was okay. passing out. For you? It was for me, yeah. It was, you're coughing, 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 and you have no idea that you're stifling it so much that you're about to pass out. Right, right. Mm. What caused you to pass out? I don't know. Couple of fainters cutting it up. Uh, that's right. <laughs> so come out on Friday because either Greg or Dan will faint. Yeah. Get there early if you want to see Dan. Yeah. Yeah, really. He'll take your picture in the bathroom. Uh, you know, there's no private. I live in a country he, where he you cannot to go to the bathroom anonymously because Levitard's over there filming Wait you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's you heard, annoying. You yeah. heard Billy rise up. You heard him rise up with who needs me as soon as you got up. You put this on your podcast. Nobody was going to talk about this. Nobody. We were just going to be scared in private. The next put, day, I you, was a little skeptical of my dad the next day because he's like, this will really sell. I was like, was this all a bit? No, Greg, he just no, get no, me. No, no. no. mine Greg, is an honest podcast. Greg, I share my it, life with you people. You did it for clicks, Greg. No, I did not. Chris? I did it for honesty. And clicks. <laughs> you, Chris, was this? A, was there a production meeting in which he talked about whether or not they, so the exclusive home of Greg Cody being interviewed about what happened? It's, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, if you listen to that pod yesterday, you're getting old news right We're now. <laughs> this is not an exclusive. That was yeah, already revealed yesterday. You. Yeah, GCS listeners know it all. You broke this and news. more and, yeah. and and observant people on our social media channels that saw the photo of the owner suite where I was literally taking your pulse. Nice little Easter we egg. We took a picture 10 minutes later. If you notice, Mike's finger is on my dad's pulse in that picture. <laughs> Legit checking. <laughs> wow. I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, man. Did you feel similarly on Sunday when your Homer Dolphins won that way? Did you pass out in the press box from <laughs> just a delirium <laughs> when he made that throw on third and 22? Did you fall to your knees, pass out, and hurt your shoulder I did. that day? Yeah, that was seconds before Ken Dorsey like obliterated his Surface uh, laptop. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did. I, I I metaphorically passed out over what the Dolphins are doing. Yes, 3-0. and Unbelievable. You know, they were, somebody asked me, when was the last time the Dolphins were 3-0? and As if it were the 1980s. It was 2018, and they finished 7-9. and So, uh, I, I don't want to throw a wet blanket on all this. Jesus, but, but that you're is about a giant to. You had them blanket. going to the Super Bowl. Giant, you're I saying mean. they're the Carolina Panthers <laughs> last year that started 3-0. Well, well, they, they could be. They beat a playoff team week one. They beat a team that would have made the playoffs if Lamar Jackson never got hurt in a huge emotional comeback victory. And they beat the reigning Super Bowl favorite. 
This is a lot different than I imagine if you it go is. back and analyze the 3-0 from 2018. Yeah. These are and really And they have a very wins. easy schedule coming up after Cincinnati. Yeah. The and schedule Cincinnati, gets really Cincinnati easy. Cincinnati is tough. That was yes. a big emotional win on Sunday. It's a short week. Uh, Joe Burrow historically plays man defenses. The, the Dolphins play man more than anybody else in the league. They do cover zero a lot, and historically, Burrow really only struggles against cover two. So I think this is a good spot for Cincinnati, and if they drop that game, that's all right. You'll take a three and one. A primetime game at the yes. AFC champion minute, that needs a win is not a bad result. I got I to gotta tell you guys, though, because Mike is now diving deep here on uh, f- looking for – Things like what he just said to you when he bets the prop over on Joe Burrow going into the weekend because they're 0-2, and even if people think the offensive line isn't going to hold up, he thinks that Burrow always he, – he got bad matchups the first two weeks with his offensive line, and he had a good one with the Jets, and now he has another good one. But Mike has been loudly – Well, the Dolphins have a good defensive line. Yes, but the, I mean, Dolphins, just, the Dolphins really impressed me with how much – they were daring those receivers and Josh Allen to beat them man. They blitz a lot. They're very aggressive. And it, it's it's kind of uh, – they, they kept the continuity from the Brian Flores defensive scheme, and it's been paying off so far. A lot of people thought that they might be exposed. I do think that Joe Burrow struggles against zone. A lot of teams play cover, too. That's not really Miami's identity. Maybe they'll show it against Joe Burrow sometimes because they watched the tape, but this is a really good matchup for the Joe Burrow. The point that I was – making is that Mike has been all in on McDaniel. He hit all three of the first games. He's betting uh, big offense. He's betting uh, the correct way on Dolphins for three games now because he believes in I mean, McDaniel. And Dan, now Dan, I've been wrong about the Dolphins. I said that they would make the playoffs. I thought that they would be 3-0, and but the way that they've made it to 3-0 and is not at all at how I expected it to be. I thought they'd get the running game going. Yeah. The way that they've won, they gave the Buffalo Bills 90 plays. I think that's a sign of a really good team. 73 dropbacks for Josh Allen. A, a are you ready to join me and Greg? Is that what you're doing? You what? had them making the playoffs. So you, are oh, you? Oh, I think, I, I still think Buffalo wins this conference, but Miami might find itself a win in the division, hosting a playoff game. Miami is a very good team. They're, it is a sign of a very good team. To win in ways that you do not expect, to find ways to pull victories out when not everything is clicking just yet. You got to imagine the Miami Dolphins are going to be a better team as the season progresses, along they stay healthy. And and to your point, Mike uh, McDaniel is a run game guru, and the running game is really the 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 thing that isn't clicking yet. So when that happens, it's going to make the pass offense all the better. The Dolphins, in the latest odds I saw, were sixteen to one to win the Super Bowl now, and and that's like sixth or seventh of all teams. Whose computer is going off in there? Right that was now? Dan. I saw the yeah. Mad Hatter yeah, panic mm-hmm. over that. What was what was that noise? Yeah. No, I thought it was. Why I are you th- wearing a costume today? I thought we were supposed to coordinate the Johnny Depp things. Is this against the bylaws, Billy? Uh, doesn't count. All right, good. Johnny count. Depp good thing answer. was. It was yeah. supposed to be a Johnny Depp pageant where all the Johnny Depps were Johnny Depp, and then they competed, and then the winner well, got okay, a, a punishment you guys don't removed. Do, they, you, the, the biggest this joke one doesn't in count. here is that I'm the one always dressing up on these yeah. things, and well, nobody's well, you're the only one going rogue. The Save the Depps. costume, yeah. Were you about to blame the computer on me? It, it, it seemed it was like you were going my, there. My co- yeah. But no, my computer yeah. isn't on. So, like, I that's why I was looking at you. Let's go to the tape. There was only one person that sprang into action trying to turn down volume yeah it was me yeah (laughs) (laughs) it was you guys are blaming me but it was not me that whole computer not being on i mean (laughs) the one thing with this dolphins team is and you can call it random they did it last year and they've done it in these first three games they they create turnovers I don't know if it's something it's random. I don't know what to make of that, but it seems in big spots. They last year they did it and this year they this team creates turnovers. Let me, let me ask you guys this as a serious question as you get enthusiastic about the Dolphins, because I think the most encouraging thing is we talk about uh, Tyreek Hill and you lament running game. I'm amazed that that game has three of their guys up front with clean records on pass pressures. Three guys on their offensive line, they, they allowed five pressures, one sack to a very good defensive line that may have been tired at the end of the game. And 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 you'd understand, but our, uh, that the Dolphin offense was on the field for only 20 minutes. And in those 20 minutes, they kept to a clean. That's something I couldn't have imagined from last year when I couldn't evaluate him at all because I was getting the worst pass blocking ever recorded, according to Pro Football Focus. I, I do think that the offensive line will get more and more online as the season progresses. It, it's 
very encouraging that they're sustaining injuries and surviving them during the course of the game. But for me, Sunday was all about the defense. When you give that oh offense God. that many chances, and honestly, Xavier Howard is a player that's going to have his jersey retired by the Miami Dolphins, and Javon Holland is a monster. The personnel that they have in that secondary is dictating that they can send – these massive blitz packages over at quarterbacks. It's how they beat Lamar Jackson last year. They've stayed married to that system, and they're putting these very talented DBs on an island. And Javon Holland is a Pro Bowl. That yeah. guy is a monster. They nailed Their that draft secondary is elite. They, yeah. they, they have such an – I am so impressed by that secondary because they leave them – alone, isolated against some very good, talented receivers. Sometimes it'll burn them like they gave up some big plays against Baltimore. That's what happens when you're leaving guys on that island in man. But for the most part, these guys are answering the bell every time and making big plays. And, and they're still missing a cornerback, starting cornerback in Byron Jones. You know who's really blossomed is Christian Wilkins. He's become really very good. good. And yeah. Melvin Ingram has been a beast. What a signing. signing. Yeah, no, Ogba, like they, they made some really good signings along that defense, and they have a very aggressive style of play. We'll see how that works out against Joe Burrow, who kind of takes advantage of that. That's all right. There's some Football's about matchups, and that may not be a great one, but it's still a very encouraging sign. But they, they line up sometimes seven players along the defensive line. Sometimes they drop into coverage, but it really seems like the whole design of the defense is is over the course of three plays, we're going to force you into one negative one. Because actually on a play-to-play -play basis, the reason why Buffalo had the ball for so long is because the Dolphins are actually not really good at st stopping you from getting four to five yards. What they are good is sacking you for negative eight, turning the ball over, and they're sort of designing a defense around, at some point, as, as you're driving down the field, we're going to create a negative play or a turnover that's going to stop your drive. You're probably going to get some first downs, but you're probably not going to score. I love philosophically that they're playing defense the way that they play offense, and when it matches up against Lamar Jackson, oh, holy shit, he's more athletic than all of that. <laughs> and also uh, Duvernay as well. He took a quick slant in, in that vast amount of space in behind the linebackers and just ran 80 no, yards. everyone's he's yelling, come on, Xavier Howard, you've lost a step. Here, here's why I'm so high on, on Mike Who McDaniel. Who was that? <laughs> uh, enter, entering the season, I was just high on Mike McDaniel because he was a part of the Kyle Shanahan offensive scheme, and I, I think the world of Kyle Shanahan, but he's already showing you the signs of a good coach. He's not trying to make he's not trying to force the run game to happen. He understands that he has skill guys on the outside. He's not married to a system. When he came here first, he looked at the defense, realized, hey, let's keep some continuity. Hold over from the previous staff and Josh Boyer is a defensive yeah. coordinator. I think these are signs of a very smart, good head coach that takes a look at the personnel he has and finds a way to make those players and those coaches be in the best position to win and not force them into a system because he doesn't have this huge ego. But it sounds like you're betting against the Dolphins this we'll be, week. It's a tough it's spot. It's a good spot for the Bengals. Uh, it, it's, it a, it's, it's a tough spot. I don't know spot. about that. I don't know about that. The, the, the Bengals, based on what I've seen of their offensive line, they cannot keep anywhere near – a clean pocket against Miami. Greg, did you see what the Bills and Dolphins were doing on that field on Sunday? They have to, they have to play four all, days all, later? All, all, it's yeah. crazy. Mike's, all Mike's doing there is betting on football being football yes. on Thursday. The Dolphins shouldn't start 4-0. They don't look like the kind of team that's going to overwhelm and swamp the AFC, even with their next eight games being games that are all against bad quarterbacks after this one, or mediocre quarterbacks. The, the spread is 3.5. Bengals are favored on DraftKings. Short week. Big Dolphin win. I think this is a really great uh, matchup for the wide receivers on the outside and Joe Burrow in particular. You have injury questions about Tua. We don't know what kind of shape he is. Uh, Mike McDaniel said that he's also dealing with an ankle, so he's got his back, his head, and his ankle. Right. Xavier going right is, now. is also a little banged up. Yeah, this is a it's a tough spot. If they win this game, I'm going to be joining you guys in the party, and it, it won't be bit like that. That is as impressive. Oh, no, of a Billy win doesn't this season. think you're welcome at that point. No, the deadline was last Tuesday. To exactly. say that they're going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, that yep. was the no, deadline. Yeah, you can't. It was a firm uh, deadline. Uh, I didn't know. Well, you and me are two out. You can't be two in after this no, Bengals game I'm if sorry. they start 4-0. Oh, Billy, two there's out. deadlines. Billy, was, Billy oh. you want to extend it to this Wednesday? Thursday, perhaps, maybe? Wednesday. You have to say it before the game, before, before the Bengals off. game. Yeah. 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 No, I think I'll still have faith in the team if they lose to Cincinnati. No, I'm not going to be devastated yeah, yeah, about that, their though, chances. No. Right. If, That's not the way it works. You're hedging your bets. Faith don't cut it. Yeah, until Thursday. One of your? One of your? 
<laughs> Continue. One of my favorite things, it's not even that important after I tried four times. <laughs> one of my favorite things Mike McDaniel does is he gives everybody the game ball. Have you seen this when they show the post game yeah. locker room? Oh, you know, he's no, not Whittingham like. Whittingham thinks he, it's lame. He's I not like, you know, two of us. Lame. This not one's everyone yours. gets a game ball. You know, come I'm on. kind of with Witty. No, Settle on no, one guy. He's like, come on, McDaniel. Yeah. He's like choice. Oprah. Yeah. He's like the Oprah of game balls. You get a game ball. Come on, McDaniel. Come on, McDaniel. Quit being a coward. It cheapens the game ball. It's like giving the office secretary a Super Bowl ring. I'm exactly. sorry. You can't give everybody a game ball. Right. Coward yeah. coach. Also, totally you right. gotta. I don't think we use that terminology, and everybody in that front office deserves a, a Super Bowl ring if your team makes it there. Everybody's pulling the same role. The Cyclones gave Greg a game ball on Friday. Really? Mm -hmm. How about that? They did game not. Pilota. Well, you seem to inspire the game them. Game pilota. I mean, it would have yeah. been nice if they did, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. But uh, never got that. What is the event never on Friday? The Greg Cody Memorial <laughs> Friday Night Fiesta. What are we doing? Who, what? We gave him the game to Fibulator. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You can't yeah, time honored tradition. a game ball. You can't do it. it, it pick somebody. I just he gets caught up in the moment, McDaniel. I I don't think he's good at these post game locker room speeches, oh, which on. also is okay because very clearly because he's winning, right? It, well, it's like it's not. We we judge coaches on these bases. I imagine Jeff Fisher is very good at post game locker room speeches. It doesn't matter. He's a bad coach. Javon Holland needed that Whoa. game ball, and then whoever cleared Tua through concussion <laughs> protocol. I think even Melvin won Ingram, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The whoever cleared to a thing, it's being Was investigated. The NFLPA has requested an investigation. Is that right? Because uh, how, how can they seriously say that was a back? I mean, Mike McDaniel said to his back locked up, which I guess could explain that. But if you look at to his face and the fact that his head snapped back and hit the turf very hard, the circumstantial evidence all points to we all said it when we were watching it like, oh, that's a concussion. So I was very surprised to hear the back thing. But to the Dolphins' credit, they were selling that shit post game. Oh, Tua yeah. came out with the ice packs, and everybody knew the company line. By but it then. seemed like but, he fainted, right? But, like we have an also, expert. Well, we have an expert here, Greg. No, it didn't. <laughs> no he did not <laughs> faint. Two of them actually. His knees were wobbling, though. I'll tell you that. Please he was looking do not for a bush to fall into. My fainting credentials, just because. Bonafides. He's publicized his. <laughs> That's right. He's, Dan's he's jealous. turned into his guys kind of, into better content than I did. That's right. Damn right. I did. I failed to get the clicks from the personal story, the reporters. I heard from reporters the next day, because you can imagine how wonderful that was to wake up to people taking pictures of me. Oh, I uh, I heard uh, from reporters that night. That's how I found out. I was texted like, hey, is Dan okay? I'm like, what happened? He fainted at a restaurant. What, so, Greg Cody, what happened when you faint at Dania Highlight? The show covers it up, and Tim Reynolds, who uh, is an associated press reporter of great credentials and repute in this market was at the event covering it and yet he missed the news yeah, and he did. you had you got to break you you broke it on Tim my Reynolds podcast. you broke yeah. his you broke that story on your podcast yeah i beat reynolds on the story of my own near demise yeah <laughs> if you can't get an exclusive on your own Near demise. What right. good is anything? What Who good can? is any right. kind of health scare yeah. if you can't own it? Do you realize, uh, Stugatz, I'm not joking when I tell you, when 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 Billy arrives with Greg waking up from faint with Who Needs Me, you have to go back to the origins of that joke, which is offensive coordinator for the Dolphins, Gary Stevens, who's running the Marino years, and would famously say things like, you're going to go to Buffalo and win with Bernie Pomeli. Right. Perfect name. Would walk into the media room and just say to the reporters, none of whom needed him, with a heater in his mouth, who needs me? Right. If, they, if someone needed a quote from the most exciting time in Dolphin football that since this, since these three weeks, like, right. you are a historian of the Dolphins. You've written a book, 50 Years of Dolphins. Yeah, Fins at 50. The last 20 years have been shit. Yes, they have been shit, and now they're on top of the world. Uh, who needs me? Uh, that should have been the name of the book. Who needs the past me? 50 years have been shit. Yes. Yeah, that should have been a little wordy, but uh, you're right. Wait a minute, um, what was the name of the book? Fins at 50. <laughs> <laughs> Alliterative. What? There is so, so the last 20 years haven't been anything, though. Seriously, the, you got to go well, yeah, back. yeah, the Pennington year. you got to go back to when. I'm not kidding here. Billy, you haven't bought a jersey. Roy, did you watch this game, or were you again watching another movie at a sun Sunday matinee? Uh, the game was in the back uh, background. Bro, what you, but now you're doing a thing. What? I'm not doing a thing. No, I mean? had to change uh, the lock on my say, front door. Daughter, right. Right. Priorities. Yeah, priorities. I didn't yep. want anybody right you know, to bring into the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Because it broke on it broke on Sunday. Right. The literal lock broke on Sunday, so I had to go to home. Timing's home. everything. I don't know about yeah. That. Yeah. I, I, that is an important one to be fair. Need. I don't Let's know. Call a need. You want to call? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Roy? No, Roy is Roy's got to protect his home. Ah, like what? what I mean, <laughs> Dolphin football can wait. <laughs> it can be on in the background. I don't want anybody coming into my home because my locks don't work. <laughs> I mean, sp- stream break. it on your phone. You know what I mean? Oh, my phone. Yeah, I don't know. What a shitty lock just breaks. Like, I could see replacing it. It literally broke? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, wow. it literally broke. <laughs> like, it turned the key, right. and the key just kept turning around oh, and around, got around, s- around, so it oh, broke. Yeah. Oh, like, that, oh, okay. Because sometimes so the key gets stuck in the lock, and you have to... No, no. Right. no. breaks off a is, little bit. Is Roy no. the only person in this room who would be able to fix his own lock? No, I've done that. Yeah. Come I'd on, call guys. my handyman. Adonis. Come on, guys. What are we doing? Uh, Adonis. Give yourself some credit. What a you great name for a handyman. It is. It really <laughs> is. Are you just guy. calling him that, or is his name really no, Adonis? No, his name is Adonis. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Greek man. He's excellent. Adonis, if you're listening, a little bit of everything. Plumbing, electrical, <laughs> small woodworking. Uh, yeah. Any small project around my house, he's there. You Five tool get, player, huh? Yeah. You, need yeah. a, you need an Adonis in your life. You have to have one. Yeah, yeah you do. Put it on the Paul Guillermo at Levitard <laughs> show. <laughs> Do you respect your handyman more if his name is Adonis? Mm, no doubt. <laughs> Billy, you're in. You're all in. I'm, I need to find an Adonis. I just have a series of mannies that keep letting yeah. me down. I, I, I can give you all the number. In Kendall, I have an Adonis. <laughs> is, is it the same guy? <laughs> is he Greek? He's like, my name's Adonis. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> There is nothing in South Florida more than a manny who's going to let you down. A series I've, of manny. I've gone through three mannies already. <laughs> no, but I'm saying there's no place in the world that has more mannies that are going to let you down <laughs> than, than just us. Yeah. <laughs> just us, our people. I feel like Manny is a good friend, but not a good handyman or head coach. They've all been very nice, but, you know. Don't get the job done. No. Right. You are homerific right now. You're all in on Tua. You yeah. are now uh, because how could I, you not be? Well, this, uh, this is uh, th- well. This is the way I would not be if I chose to uh, stir the rabid QAnon nest, which is that after that game played that way, I. If I had to bet the rest of the way, and I don't know what's going to happen with injuries or the eight games in the Dolphins' schedule, I think the Bills are better. And I don't know how to analyze a game anymore around this, the two and on stuff, where when he's winner guy and he's got the special things and people are questioning us and we're rallying around this athlete in a way that's super unusual in my history watching things in this, in this city – at this position, and I look at it, and I'm like, well, he won, and he's a winner, and I'd like for him to be a winner, too, but I'd like to bet more on probabilities of Josh Allen for the next 10 years, even you know, even if he gets hurt or anything else, because I'm in love with the arm strength and because I love that he proved me wrong and I thought he was going to be terrible, and I'm terrified of him. I, when they rarely get in third and 10, I'm terrified that he's either going to run for it, somebody's going to bounce off him, or he's going to throw the ball 27 yards downfield to Diggs, and that's what I want from my team, my offense. But I think most people would say, yeah, give me Josh Allen over the next 10 years, but for this year, for right now, that defense is ravaged with injuries. The Bills, they have four or five starters who are out. The Dolphins have better wide receivers, I think, than the Buffalo Bills. And the schedule should not be ignored, the Dolphins' schedule, because after Cincinnati, it's the Jets, Vikings, Steelers, Lions, Bears, Browns, Texans, Niners. Those are some bad quarterbacks, man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the names here because I don't think you can do that because they could lose four of those games on the road, and it wouldn't be surprised. It's just football. Cousins isn't bad. It's football happening. But the order isn't good either, though. You just (laughs) definitively said the Dolphins have a better wide receiving core, and it's like... That's tough. Well, Stefan Diggs is as good as anybody. Uh, All right. I mean, if you talk to experts, people will go Tyreek, then Stefan Diggs, and probably Waddle. But then the next few guys are all Buffalo Bills. Don't sleep on Kerkraft. All he does is catch touchdowns. River. We got to come up with it. We got to make that our guy. We got to make yeah, what a that's name. two touchdowns, and we were just learning his name together. But the order is Zach Wilson, Kirk Cousins, Trubisky or Pickett, Goff. Fields, Brissett, 
Bad. Jimmy G, Mills. Yeah. Then it goes Herbert, Josh Allen, and Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm saying that's that that matters in whatever your analysis is. Like to me, we can break all this stuff down, play to play, minute to minute, third and twenty two. Holy shit, what an amazing throw from Tua. Looked off, used Hill to look off the safety. He's done it now a couple of times. It makes a perfect throw on a throw that's really hard to make that accurately. And third and twenty two, turn the game over. Just an unbelievable throw. But the Bills, I trust their probabilities better. And it's a joyless way to watch this. It really is. Because I'd rather root for the Dolphins, but I fear that the Bills are better. Well, you control that. so. I but mean. it doesn't It doesn't matter, though. Like even, even if the Bills are better, you play them again in December yeah. on the road, you'll probably lose. We'll but there, there is still another outcome, right? Like for, for the Dolphins to win a playoff game would be an incredible season for them. Yeah. We don't need to beat the Bills this year. At some point, you do. You already beat them. But this, yeah. Right, right. right. Exactly. You know, beating you beat them in the them playoffs, already. beating the Chiefs in the playoffs. Have some you swagger, have some exactly. confidence. You lose to the Bills, you regress. It doesn't yeah. matter. I'll, I'll literally take a home playoff game. No. That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, my God. If you get a, if you get a you home doing? playoff game, that Dude, means you win the division. It baby steps. I'm Losers. with Witty on this. I don't need. You said you were happy to lose a shootout last week about the I game they just been. won. It, but that doesn't mean my expectations go to we need to go undefeated. Look, we're going to lose a couple dumb ones. We are we're better than we were last year. I'm just I'm just going to enjoy this season. I don't right. need to win the Super Bowl for this to be a good season. If you have a home playoff game, that means Buffalo's path is all on the road, depending on how the AFC shakes out. No, I, I got it. Billy, I, I'm with you on this. Hey, how are you? Thank you. You're finally coming around. I mean, yeah, Dan, pick a side. Like, let's, let's be brave. You're like yelling yeah, at my it, dad Dan. for being a homer. Now do you're it. mad at us for having perspective. Is what do you show, want from us? Welcome the to the Miami show Hurricanes in? experience for the last few weeks. No answer is good enough for this guy. You're playing both sides. Yeah, he is. Is the show all in on Tua? Are we even allowed, Billy? Or now that you bought the jersey that you have to return because yeah. it's too tight and it shows off your dad belly when you raise your arm? No, it shows off my nips. Uh, it does. I've seen it. Yeah. White jersey, dangerous game. Does that change the deadline at all on people being all in? Now, Stugatz and Greg Cody have are publicly all in. They pushed and and you. They're in. Yeah, yeah. Greg is in. Stugatz is in. I'm in. Chris, I'm not so sure about. I, right. I'm weird. not certain. Right. I thought I'm, he was in, but now so I have you to guarantee kick him out when he says he's a the board really is not. I, yeah. Jesus. No, you got to kick him out. I'm just when having he says perspective. That. Of course, I uh, want. I want game? everything I mean, you're on. saying. No, you I might want have to be out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that he's in. I'm out. Uh, Tony's in. I think over there in the corner. Tony's in. Oh no, he's not in. He's shaking his head. He doesn't think this next seven games is as easy as it. He's like, they got the Vikings. Sneaky couple games in there. There's a sneaky couple games. The Lions are good. You're Lions coming. are good. Lions okay. are much better. One loss. You're coming in here talking about how great Kirk Cousins is, and you're out no, on no, the no, ball. No, Billy, stop that. Here. Stop that, Billy. Stop that. I said I want him in the last two minutes of my game. You just right. said thank you when Greg said Kirk Cousins is good. You said thank you. Oh, I did because he is good. I mean, he is from three thirty to four. We discussed he's this great. yesterday. But Kirk you're Cousins on a Sunday is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. But you're out on the Dolphins. But you're in on Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I'm out. That's insane. That was a hilarious Roy poll. Roy hasn't watched and he's not going to watch a game. He's going to have a light bulb to change or whatever. We don't need to ask him. But I'm in, though. I was at, wow. me- I was okay. at Heat Media he's Day yesterday, and I just saw the at. poll. Is Kirk Cousins the best quarterback in the NFL from 334? I was like, that's actually a good shout. <laughs> See what the results are. <laughs> Who's the worst player in the Dolphins honor roll? I'm workshopping that Xavier Howard take, but they don't have Madison uh, or Sertan in the honor roll. Right, I'd have to. I'd have to look at the other. Yeah, Zonka, sure. Greasy. In terms of players, Zonka, Greasy, Langer, Warfield, Bonacani, uh, Larry Little, Dwight Stevenson. Those are all Hall of Famers, yeah, by the way. Right, Kuchenberg, Shula, Nat Moore. Nat Moore might be the one. The worst. Dan Marino. Yeah, uh, Dan Marino, Clayton Duper, Dick Anderson, Richmond Webb, Bob Baumhauer, Doug Betters. It might. Mm, Betters. Nat uh, Moore, you've really insulted Nat Moore there. Well, Nat Moore was good, but is he better at his job than Xavier Howard is? Then Betters. So. Keep going. Uh, Jake Scott, Bill Stanfill, Jim Mandich. 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 Oh, Andrew. I hate that to is, say it. Yeah. Hold on. Let no, him finish. No, no, no. Let hurts. him finish first. Mandich, Mandich is in there because of the radio broadcasting, too. Yeah, that jumps out, though. Yeah. But by stats, he's the worst player yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. By a lot. Uh, well, Taylor Hall of Famer, Zach Thomas, Bill Orensberger is a defensive coordinator, so... He's not a player. John Offerdahl and Manny Fernandez. I would say 
uh, Mandich, Offerdahl, and Fernandez would be my bottom three. Wow. Offerdahl's yeah. overrated restaurant. So Xavier, whoa, <laughs> no, oh, I like that place. Should I not say that? I mean, no, like, so what's wrong the truth with, hurts. Support what's, local business. What's wrong with Offerdahl's bagels? What's wrong with them? <sighs> Meh. You are the Cody family. You're gonna blaspheme against the Offerdahls. I love a bagel. It's no Einsteins. You can't be good at everything, Dan. You know what I mean? He created a bagel empire he around did. being the second of their, no, the third of their many great, fourth of their many great <laughs> white linebackers, along with A.J. Dewey and Zach Thomas right. and, and Nick Bonacani. You lost your hat, by I the know, way. I keep you losing, look like Carrot Top. I, I keep <laughs> losing my hat. I keep, I keep, it's such a sad thing to be in here. The only one in costume. It's pathetic. It You're makes me sad. I got to go do Dan Patrick now. And I forgot that I had the two things today. So now I got to go do that. Yeah. As that? You're doing Dan yes. Patrick as that? It's the Mad Fatter. It's not that. It's Alice wow. in Wonderland. It doesn't seem like any of you guys know the character. or So now I just feel like a real fool. Yeah, well, you, look like, you look like Carrot Cake Top. I'm out on Larry Zonka, by the way. Oh, Zonka. What? Yeah. Yeah! Like that boy! <laughs> what do you mean you're out on Zonk? Well, we were talking about how you have to be in or out, and Zonk, during that Ravens game, was doing a lot of tweeting, which I know sounds strange, but he was tweeting the whole time, and he was very... He was not? Someone has to be tweeting for Larry Zonka. He was... Right? Why do you no, say that? Why is that? You have, that? Larry, you have Larry Zonka in his 70s firing off... Yes. My dad yes. tweeted yes. Yeah. Sunday... Did yeah. you guys see Jerry Jones trying to use his phone yesterday and take great. a picture with some or take some video with somebody or whatever he was trying to do? Confused by his phone? Like, I don't, I think in 70s, 80s, yeah, I don't expect those people to be good at tweeting or to be active tweeters. Well, Zonga was very critical of the Dolphins when he thought that they were going to lose to the Ravens. And I haven't nary a peep out of Larry Zonka since except to promote his book. Tired of this guy, which is coming out October fourth. Yeah. Well, Billy, head down, Billy, don't buy it. Or head the, on. Well, Billy, as the guy who's first in on Tua, you bought the jersey, you made the financial. There's commitment. a lot going on here, Dan, that I'm getting a little annoyed with. I hear this one over in the corner, Anthony, who is talking great things. He's saying the Dolphins are not good. He's out on no, the Dolphins, no, 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 but no, the Lions that. are good, okay, and Kirk on. Cousins are Jazz. is good. And right the now Jags he was good. just talking about how great Cooper Rush is. <laughs> no, guys, no, but he's on. out on the Dolphins. No, no. First of all, I didn't. No, I am out on the Dolphins, but I didn't say they were bad. They're a good team, and they're going to do well this season. And I have, I got a lot of papers here. Why are you rifling through papers over there? What are you doing? It's like my grandmother before she died. Writes writes down my top five. I do. And last week's top five, number five, something about Cooper Rush. Yeah, there is. It's so unfair what you've done. What does that mean? This is Billy. Please stop attacking Tony for a second. Okay, Tony is he is doing more research than anyone here. He's he's getting video. He has got papers. He is working to be to have football expertise. And all you do is undercut him and say his fantasy video picks and papers? stink and he doesn't know anything. And he's doing a lot of work. And you undercut him at every turn. What work is he doing? I, all I hear him do is tell Danny and Lewis to do things. Turn my mic on. He's shuffling papers over there. He's doing. delegating yeah. things. I don't see any actual work being well, done over there. What are you there. talking about? I'm Lewis crunching do tape. this. Mike Shuffling Fuentes that, do that. That's not true. Danny, I'm watching do all this. 22. I'm do. I'm all get. 22. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm watching all 22. All right, I'm, I'm getting into the numbers. I'm looking at graphs. I'm reading charts. <laughs> Billy, I'm doing stuff. You don't worry about what I do. What, what do you don't do? worry about what I do. Hey, I don't know. worry about what I do. I want, this is, you guys need He has to a stop. beaker in his hand right now for some reason. I yeah. need you guys to stop, okay? Because, Tony, I'm telling you, Greg Cody's been making picks for years. He does not care about this the way that Tony does. Mike Ryan has dived deep into wherever the numbers are, the advantages. Uh, he's looking for matchups. Uh, and Tony, I believe, cares about this. A great deal. And you believe that knowledge he gets from this is nothing, Billy. You believe that he knows nothing, that everything he says is wrong, <laughs> and that you will not fear Kirk Cousins and, and the Jags. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it doesn't make any sense to me. What what doesn't make sense? The, look look at what Mike's wearing. You think anyone cares more about football than Mike? <laughs> Mike, I forgot. To Discuss it. It sounded like I was second in your rankings. <laughs> I, I, I see your jacket, <laughs> asshole. I have the same hat. I have the hat. It's at home though. I uh, I feel such deep shame to be dressed like this and having the second best costume today because of the jacket Mike is wearing on just all the NFL teams. We'll get back to his fandom that's for sale in a second. But Tony and Billy, though, I don't understand why you keep undercutting him, Billy. Does he not know anything? Is not is the fa- are the fantasy picks all terrible? No, absolutely not. The, the fantasy picks are not all terrible. All the videos that I've sent out. Basically, they've been all been right. The thing is, Billy just doesn't watch them and then just says that I'm wrong. It's weird. They've well, but they've all been right. They've basically all been right, except one. I said fade Devonta Smith. He had 169 all right. yards. Well, just right. guys, that's yeah. a different story. All right. Well, yeah. this is the, my worst. My worst fears have come true. Okay, at the height of our dreams, in that you guys are obsessed with this fantasy stuff. Now you're all doing one games, and you're all all of you. You, you get all a titter when everyone's talking about whatever happened Sunday because you all got a million bets. Uh, Whittingham hates himself. Whittingham is he's got too many he's got too much action and he's grown to hate himself. I uh Stugatz and Mike have been in this pick picks pool for a few years so they yeah. invited Careful. Chris and uh, Chris and myself into it and it's ruined watching football. Dan, I watched every snap of Broncos and 49ers because I had the Broncos and I suffered through all of that. What? I could have I could have gone to bet. No, I won. I won and I Imagine I still, having the Niners. Right. I still I still <laughs> suffered through every snap, and at a certain point in the third quarter, I could go to bed. We we wake up very early for this program. I I could get a good night's sleep, but I looked at myself and I said, "No, you're gonna keep watching. You're in too deep. You've gone too far. See it through to the finish." And that game was horrendous. But my friends have noticed a change in my mood. I am much more cranky now, and it's because I have the Dallas Cowboys and. C.D. Lamb dropped a surefire touchdown in the first half and made that way harder than it needed to be. But I, you I'm, got your win. I, mean, I know I, I got right, my win, but right. I'm not even enjoying them. I hate myself. <laughs> and Tony and Billy, are you in the same league or what? Because you don't seem to think that that Tony has any real expertise, even though it, all of you guys are studying the hell out of this stuff. Look, here's the thing. We're all in the Levitard show. Uh, Billy, can you give the URL for people that don't know they want to join our pool on Sundays? Oh, the daily is the D- dailies, yeah. dkng.co slash Levitard. So we're in this huge 600 Rolls person right off the pool. Tongue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's hard, hard to follow. It's hard to follow. Yeah. You, you click it, 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 it takes you to a desktop, like it. and it's yeah. all yeah. 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 Good. 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 One more time with D slash Levitard. Wait. Okay, guys. Everybody else is talking. Guys. All right. D as in David. Okay. Got it. K as in night with a K. Got it. N. Thank you. As in night without a K. Mm -hmm. G as in game. Yep. Dot. Just the letter. Don't spell it out. C as in cat. Uh, S E E. O as in octagon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slash the symbol. Co? It. So it's a dot co. It's dot co. co. No oh, slash. Oh, wow. wow. Back or forward slash. Easy to find. Yeah, 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 easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 just uh, so God almighty. And then that'll take you to a desktop. Uh, <laughs> and then on the desktop, then you have to figure out a way. <laughs> if you're on your phone, Ooh, I'm in. He does these things for his own amusement. He makes it more difficult. Look, I've asked. I asked for a good URL. This is what they gave me. He can be there by himself, and no one is participating. No, the more people that participate, you're gonna get there. No, guys, the more part- people that participate, the better because it raises There's the money, money that can be yep. won yes, and the number exactly. of people that can win. So, And now it- they're gambling against you guys who come in here on Monday and Tuesday, and the only connection point you all have is that you want to talk about all of the things that happened to you in the 1 o'clock game. Well, Witty's, made, Witty's won two out of three weeks. Not the whole pot, but he's gotten paid two out of the three weeks. It was weeks. just you and Witty in it. No, no, I, I was very close. I was very close. Yeah. It was like 580 people. I won in three wow. separate contests. Yeah, wow, congratulations. Last week we sold out quick before, like early Sunday we sold out. So I, maybe I should talk to them about increasing the people that joined. I think so. Yeah. yeah. This is my worst nightmare. Why? Oh, no, because the now costume? it's infected this stuff. Because it's infected everything. It's in fact, you guys deeply want to talk about your fantasy teams. Damn and right. I don't think anything is less interesting than someone else's fantasy team. <laughs> Other than Greg's Lobo sponsored by Visible. I tell you that. That a boy. Oh, boy. Can't wait to do that later. Add the oh, Lobos. Do I, I want to do weekend. it right now. What a <laughs> weekend. Wow. <laughs> Woo. All right. I didn't mean to do it. It is time now for a yes! weekly update on our oh, favorite wow. team. 
Rex Lobo. I can't believe that came. I can't believe it. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Head amazing, coach and right? president of football operations, Rex Cody. Lobo. Lobo. Presented by Visible. Switch today at Visible.com. You stink, Randy. I uh, tell you what, like the Miami Dolphins, your Greg's Lobos are flying high. We are flying high. We're two and one, tied for the PFBI fantasy lead. Not a tie, though, because we lead the league in scoring, which is the tiebreaker. So the Lobos are in first place. Top of the table. Damn right. We are coming off a, get this, you're not going to believe this score. We are coming off a 158 to 96 victory. Wow. wow. Tell me every player. I mean, Lamar Jackson, 39 points. Woof. CD Lamb. Jack. <laughs> yes, CD dropped a touchdown pass. He also scored 22 points. L Jack, CDs? L, L Jack and CD Lamb in, in sheep's clothing. No more. He's coming for us. Oh, dear L Jack and CD Lamb what? were two he, of He wanted a, a lamb, about sheep. lamb in I mean, sheep's yeah. clothing. He wanted to get a lamb in sheep's <laughs> clothing. Low, He's low, ruling. Low, He's ruling. Ruling. <laughs> you know what? I haven't been this excited about a CD since the 80s when I played him in my uh, Oh, you should have said an actual every... CD. I know. I, I Steely Dan or some yeah, Steely Dan, yeah. I, I really should have, but let's hit, hit rewind on that. No, the Lobos had eight <laughs> players in double figures. Eight <laughs> players in double figures. Eight? Th- yeah, this may be... Name them. Th- I don't want to do that. This may be the best team we, can't. we have ever had in the 14-year history of PFPI fantasies. There's never been a better time to be a Lobos fan. Get a Greg's Lobos T-shirt at the Greg Cody Show. Oh, for the love uh, of merchandise God. store. Do you I have, mean, do you have a back in my day? What's the website? <laughs> I haven't been this what? excited for a CD since Banana Rama. There you go. That'd, that, that'd be better. Excellent. Christopher, what's the website called? That <laughs> no, our, no, that no, our no, GregCodyShow.com. <laughs> We didn't sing the song yet. I mean, I know yeah. what happened. Yeah, no, no. He said the F word, but keep going. <laughs> low, low, low your boat gently towards a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a Two and one, and the points leader. Oh, Amazing. points leader. Yeah, yeah, we are in yeah. fuego, man. Right. Because that's really the sign of a great fantasy team. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You yeah. sell dog handkerchiefs with the Lobos logo on it, we huh? We do, yeah. Look we at do. that. Yeah. How's old Charlie doing? Oh, uh, not good. Annoying as shit. What? Yeah. He ate my couch. Wait, the, the whole couch? The whole well, not, not the whole couch. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's talk about this for a second, because Cody's been wanting to bring for two, he's stuffed. For two months now, uh, as if it's not hard enough to do the show when he's in here uh, playing defense against everything. Do you have it back in my day? I do not. No, it's, yeah. it's in the uh, uh, hurricane in week. Laboratory. Yeah. Yeah. Hurricane. He fainted yeah. hurricane week. Yeah. Yeah. Mike sure yeah. took Her- you to task. Yeah. Now, come on, guys. Public fainted. shaming didn't work? He I know. Died. Yeah, I'm Mike Shore. Don't get me started on that. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? In my dad's defense, Mike Shore named like six or seven back in my day ideas, and I think my dad did six of them already. Oh, like, of them. He was like saying, hey, you could do this, you could do this. Yeah. My dad's, like, to my dad's point, yeah. he's, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't, I know, I don't want to defend my dad, Who but it was a little, Sounds yeah. Like you are. Who is that guy? Yeah, Mike Shore it. made my case for me, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact. Well, but Greg Cody is arguing that he's out of ideas. Are you challenging Mike Shore to ideas on whether or not he can come but, up with the ideas that you have not done um, on Back in My I, Day? I've never claimed I'm out of ideas. I'm cl- I've claimed that after doing back in my days for eight years, they're harder to come by. Uh, every time I research an idea, it turns out I've done it. Every time people submit an idea to me, I've already done it. It ain't easy being about, me. If you're going to shame Greg Cody about a back in my day idea, don't come at him with seven ideas that he's already done. Hey, that's a bad Wait job. A second. Yeah. You're right. How about new spins on old classics? It's been a while since you've done these. Don't you have new takes on these I things? I could. I could do... Uh, uh, you know, draw bridges. I could do menus, but Please, I've already done those. Draw Please bridges was a classic. Those. Okay. Please do those again. You my want him to redo them? My no, all-time yeah, I'm sure he's reruns? got new observations huh. for them. No, okay. he doesn't. Let's, right. let's not let this distract from the couch. What happened? Exactly. <laughs> the dog well, ate but, it. But so he's been trying to bring that dog in here. Yeah, Charlie. if you bring it here, then it won't eat your couch. It'll you eat do, our couch. You do not want that dog here. That no. dog needs to be trained to I stop jumping. It, jumping it Charlie, jumps we call him. Ev- on everybody. It's so annoying. I love that. How high does it jump? How high does Charlie jump? It, Charlie jumps off all fours. Yes. And the tip of his head is six feet off the ground. I love that. Wow, he's got how, hops. How big's Charlie? How much does Charlie weigh? He weighs like 50 pounds now. He's the world's biggest puppy. Oh, he I just love turned it. six months on Congrats. the 23rd, whenever that was. 
you can't have a wild animal horse untrained in your right. house ping ponging around <laughs> yeah. six feet no, off it's, the it's ground. Rid- he doesn't then- know how big he is. You know, he really doesn't doesn't know how big he is. We're, we're about but to have his balls but, cut off. But you have to, oh, well, that's part of it. You also have to train him. Well, we've trained him. Uh, we've trained him to have long fingernails like Talon, like Talons, Dale Talon, former about of to cut his balls <laughs> general manager. No, we're uh, we're fixing him. We're cutting his fingernails, his toenails, whatever nails he's got, we're cutting him. It's, no, just slow down and treat the animal with kindness uh, and and <laughs> we're going to cut his balls off. I mean, off. Uh, you, well, you should see not. this animal. He's like I mean, he needs a wheelbarrow like Mike McDaniel this dog. Um <laughs> got a pair? He's really? got a pair. <laughs> Man, does he got a pair? <laughs> My granddaughter sees his schlong. What are says, you talking Jesus about? There there right. And there says, "What's that?" You know, no, what she doesn't. Happening. No, no she did. Your granddaughter. My granddaughter okay. saw his schlong All right, that's in enough. the kitchen, All and right. she said, "What is that? Right. What is this? A game that's, of Clue?" Okay. And I what is he doing in the kitchen? I, I said, "That's what enough. he pees with." She saw his. Okay. <laughs> How else am I going to explain? In the kitchen with a. It was a little extended. I don't know why he was so excited. All right, very good, baby. <laughs> no. Can we what bleep? Can I take there? this out? But it is a baby. <laughs> anyway, he ate my couch. Not the whole couch. We have one of those sectionals. It comes off in pieces. He ate uh, a, a, a two cushion, uh, four foot long section of couch. Uh, just gnawed it. And um, it was a sad situation. My wife was very upset. Uh, had Michael over. We separated the couch. We took it off. We now have an L-shaped, L-shaped sectional that's really not an L, uh, proper L anymore. And uh, and it's you know we had to reconfigure the uh, the the uh, area to make it work, and it just hasn't. And uh, that's the uh, that's what uh, Charlie has wrought. But we hope when we get him fixed, he's going to calm down. Uh, we're still optimistic. Uh, we are not thinking of giving him up. We stand behind the dog, despite all the heartache. We stand behind Jumpin' Charlie. Uh, we love him like a pet, and we're going to move forward. Questions? <laughs> He's going to do a press conference. <laughs> Planning on uh, going for that ottoman? That. Yeah, I, I need an ottoman right now. I, and that's a good idea. An ottoman would really work. That's a good idea. Give him one more thing to chew on, though. That's a problem. Yeah. Is it, um, I know we're not on air right now. Is it uh, no longer uh, looked upon favorably to, to get a dog quote unquote fixed? No, I think it's it's recommended, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. tone down the population. You're supposed there. to do it yeah. Be- because I I mentioned that I have a neighbor uh, who happens to be a doctor, and she's always walking her human two, doctor. She's walk, walking her two spaniels all the time, and we're friendly and blah blah blah. And uh, she was asking about Charlie, and I said I'm going to get him fixed, and she gave me a weird look as if that was not something she would do or not something that she approves of. You know, just it was a vibe I got. So. I was just wondering about I that. think it was on this show the way you phrased it of we're cutting his balls off. No, it's fine. Like, I think fixing him is, you know. Yeah, it's a little milder. My granddaughter saw a schlong. That also was awkward. <laughs> well, in the did. kitchen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Thank enough. you, Dad. Yeah. And she said, what is that? And I said, that's what he pees with. I mean, what else are you going to say? Mm-hmm. No, you explained it well. Very accurate yeah. on my part. Doesn't pee enough. He pees on me when I come over. That's a happy pee. I know. I like that. Excited, happy excited. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. Piece. My dad gets mad because the dog gets way more excited to see me and my mom than him. Well. Well, because I trained the dog. What? He knows better than to jump on me. <laughs> That's oh, not true. I'll that. cuff him. What? Well, cuff he, him. he he ate your couch. Yeah, but he didn't eat me. You don't he have him trained, couch. right? Well, he's being trained. I mean, you know, you can't dad, reinvent the wheel. You're paying Adonis to train him. No, no, I'm not. 
Adonis. Adonis, really? Adonis trains dogs. No, too? but they she's are getting homeless. the dog professionally trained, not by Adonis. We've had a trainer over a few times, and she's uh, while nice, she's done no good. <laughs> but she's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's all that matters. I think it requires more than a couple of times. She's but, one of these uh, trainers where it's like, don't say no to the dog. It's like, hey. I'm going to say no to the dog, okay? Yeah. Yeah. How about you find a way to train me? Like, let me train right. the dog while saying it's the no. the exact opposite. Like, it's like, they don't like the word. It's like, it's a dog. No, but it can be positive reinforcement. Oh, enough you with that. You can treat the animal don't like Don't get physical with, with the kindness. dog, but hey, you can say no. You can right? train an animal with kindness, but you need a trainer's help. Greg, you should bring your dog into to the show every week, and then afterwards head over to the Petco right over here. I had a dolphin trainer train my dog. Dan met him one time. He sent me a picture right really? here at the pet store. Yeah. He also trained dolphins, but now he trains dogs. Wow. Yeah. My dog is is becoming trained. Uh, he knows my tone of voice. When I say, uh, hey, but I say it with a B, like, bay, that's a sign to him that I mean business. Why do you he, do that? Bay. He has <laughs> done a, something it's wrong. It's a scary sound. It is I, a scary I, sound. I, I, Thank but, you. Right. But also not on, not on not unkind, just right. just a bit weird. Yes. But also, it's got the hint but of hey. menace. But this, <laughs> wait, this could be part of the problem is that you're, com bang. you're confusing the dog with nonsense. Well, I, he knows the tone of bay. Yeah. He knows the tone of. <laughs> Does he stop? I mean, it's yes, it really. Weird. He gets uh, <laughs> guilt washes over his face you when he hears it. that sound. I <laughs> swear, wow. I'm, I'm yeah. not lying. Well, but, huh. and it's not exactly cruel. It's a cue. It's like that. that but still, Charlie ate, the, guy, ate right. the couch. So, like the other day, I caught him with a record album in his mouth. I'm like, <laughs> Bay. he immediately drops it, gets guilty, and slinks away. Uh, <laughs> what record is it? It was. Uh, it was a classic Elton John album from the oh. very early 70s, 11, 17, 70, a live album. My wife, God bless her, this is the kind of thing she does. I was heartbroken because he not only ate the record sleeve, but he chipped into the record itself. My wife goes on Amazon or whatever the hell you do, and a couple of days later, <laughs> in the mail, arrives that album. So uh, I love my wife, have for a long time. and uh, But that's what Charlie does. And he, and he drops it, so... This from Ben Volan. You died and came back a better co-host. <laughs> really? You're amazing today. <laughs> Tour de force, man. And died. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Bay. <laughs> Jumping Charlie just thinks Daddy's unspeakably weird. Right? Okay, get in line, Charlie. I, I don't know. I don't know what this creep is capable of. Who's wandering around the house going? Bird. I know. And I'm the only one constantly there. Everybody else works for a living. You died and came back <laughs> a better code. That's a funny no, repeat sound. Figure out where to use the bay uh, throughout the <laughs> throughout the show, whichever one of the best ones there, that were. Bay. <laughs> bay. You mentioned Ben Volan, and then you didn't. Uh, yeah, well, what did Ben I, have to say? No, I was, I, I was just... Uh, I was trying to find a funny segue that had nothing to do with anything. I didn't know that the joke wasn't over yet. I should, like, they should take that out. But now you've piqued our curiosity. Oh, I can, yeah, I, I can like, start yeah, I know again. Ben. If you want right. me to get to, if you want me yeah. to get started on something else, we got, what, 10 more minutes here we you need? You should say, like, Ben, ben Volan. That's almost funnier, though, when you try to, like, move on and we just, like, okay, steamroll you. That's yeah, fine. but come, coming that's back fine. to it is also it's, funny. It's, it's, right. like, yeah. Pro Football Talk's power rankings are out. Oh, wow. What do you got? Uh, well, they got the Dolphins. What has Duke the Insider got? Because you're all in on Tua, and Ben Volan is reporting the last 16 years NFL teams are 2 and 106 when being outgained by at least 275 yards. The two wins, Dolphins versus Rams in 2020, that's Tua. Dolphins versus Bills the other day, that's Tua. He's got you right where he, he wants you. He wins <laughs> even when you outgain him by 275 yards. Wow. Mike Florio, pro football talk. What's he got? Have the Dolphins, in their latest NFL power rankings, week four, 2022, ranked 
number one. Yes! 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 yes. No way! Yeah. No way! He dropped a dookie. That's... Here's the blurb. To be the best, you gotta beat the yes! best. Wow! <laughs> and they did. <laughs> Bills fell to three. Goosebumps. Wow. As you're saying that, on Get Up right now, Robert Griffin is doing his, and I got a spoiler on Twitter. Oh, uh, I think he's well, he pick... said the Dolphins the yeah. other day? Well, and he's doing a top We're five. We're watching and it live, it. but he just did hold this. Hold on, hold on. Chiefs. Hold on. Number five, the Chiefs. Number he's four, the Ravens. Number right three, now. the Bills. Number two, the Eagles. Here number one. Hold Who could up. it be? It's hold up. Who could it be? Sit. RG3. Eagles are number two, Drum according roll. to RG3. Same with PFT, by the way. Eagles number two there as well. Wow. Oh my god, my Cody. Look at Greg Cody. And Whittingham's got the dolphin emblem over his heart, even though he is nationally now considered the biggest of the Tua haters. He he's not allowed on, right? Yeah, take that off. Yeah, take it off right now. Why are you wearing that? Take that off. What do you mean? I'm a take Dolphin that off. fan. No, you're not. You're not a Dolphin fan. No, no. Yeah. Fraud. The other day I had to give, someone sent a cameo to me to give a pep talk to their Dolphins fan after the Bills win because they said that the Bills should have won the game, not the Dolphins. And I had to pep talk this Dolphins fan. And I said, you know what? You're out of here. I kicked that person out. I said, I've revoked your Dolphin fandom. Done. I'm doing it. I'm taking away people's fandom. I'm tired of it. None of this wishy-washy shit anymore. You've okay? been here like two weeks. None of this wishy-washy <laughs> shit anymore with He's us. He's been there since the beginning. That's exactly yeah, right. Defensibility. Yeah. Yeah. Of the season. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes. No, I have old Dolphin jerseys. I had an OJ McDuffie jersey, I'll have you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I gave it away. Goodwill. Didn't fit yep. me anymore. You guys make the joke as if uh, as if Billy didn't get here two weeks ago, but my father used to say the second season of LeBron basketball, I've been with LeBron since the beginning, since he got to the heat. <laughs> as like the country, as the country hated him. <laughs> Billy did get here a few minutes ago, but he got here forcefully, and I'm not sure that it's not a good idea to bully Whittingham into removing his emotional fandom gear because he I don't has like been that. nationally anti Tua. You're viewed as a voice. It's not you, bullying no, him. No, no, I'm Whittingham, enforcing the law. Whittingham is Attaboy. the only one I've seen in the national media totally comfortable going right at Tua Non. So we want to bully Witty, but we don't want to say no to a dog. Got it. That's right. We're enforcing the laws. Witty, you what? finally have what you've wanted. Which you have what? a quarterback. You have a team that's exciting. They score points. They have good wide receivers. So this walked, is what you've wanted. You walked in on a Monday Bay. once and told Mike that he has a quarterback. Bay. 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 I'll take the jacket off, though. <laughs> yes! <laughs> It works. You know what? It works. I, I, want you, I want you guys to do that to me every time I make the show, Kareem. <laughs> and one of you just <laughs> took it off. It's amazing. It's okay. It's not. I'm obedient. It's not. Greg was right. It's, it works. It's, it's not workplace hostility. It's just disgusting and weird. <laughs> Whittingham, though, I found you brave because you're just crunching the numbers and looking at it and saying a version of the same thing I am, which is, well, I think the Bills are better. The Bills the Bills should still be everyone on everyone's number one list. Even you were just th- about to come in that like a couple make, of minutes that's ago. Like, that's rash- that's rational analysis to, to look at Sunday's game and say, great job by the Dolphins winning it. There are mitigating circumstances. It's a bit of an aberration that they ran 90 plays, still lost. They had four injuries in the secondary. All these things, they had Phillips out on the D-line. There are things that matter, but at the same time, that's huge for the Miami Dolphins. I don't think you're a hater if you take Sunday's result and say, I still favor the Bills in the long term. But it doesn't even matter to me. Like, I I still had enormous fun. I don't even care if the Bills are better than the Dolphins. The Dolphins are having a really fun season. We were talking about it during the break. I don't think they have any, like, they don't have very many weak links on defense. Their offensive line is better. Their receivers are amazing. They are a good team. Their coach is better. Right, their, their coach is better. Like, I, I don't think that they have a quarterback where their window is 12 years like some of the other teams the NFL do. They probably have a very tight window with Tua as on, on a rookie contract, and you can put Tyreek Hill around him. You can put a very good team around him. I don't think once you start paying him $35, $40 million that the Dolphins are going to be as good, but we'll kind of get to that when we get there. In the interim, they have a very good team, a quarterback who is improving, but I still don't think week to week I'm getting consistent levels of, of, of performance from him. But 
he's better and can allow your team to win games, which he has done his entire time here. You're the team out. Is fun. You're out. RG3 has made it number one pro <laughs> football. Uh, that's Florio. That's not pro, pro football, football talk. That's yes. pro yeah. football talk, not yes. pro football focus. Those are different things. Right. It's not the numbers. There's also pro football network. Well, which is it? Well, all of them say Dolphins consensus, the best team in the land. Well, and Stephen A's list is coming up at some point in time, so I would imagine that they will make an appearance there, too, because he was gushing over the Dolphins the last two weeks. Tua has a QB rating that's higher than Mahomes, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Trevor Lawrence, all these great Brady, Rodgers. They're going to have to pay him a lot of money next year, Okay, right? let's not do that just yet. No, I need let's, to do let's that. Let's get to the joy yeah, first. Uh, Whittingham, I need your help, though. What do I have to go do on Dan Patrick now to say about Tua? Because dressed like this, with no mention that I'm dressed like this, to make national news. Like, what's the thing? Working a bunda bay. Bay. It sounded like you just said gibberish right there. I was a little working in a bunda bay. <laughs> I'm used to him saying but no. Like, no. Like, usually he's like a no guy with the dog. He That's says a but no. Well, There's not but no. It's, it's, it's one syllable. Bay. He's got a bunch of weird noises. So let's keep track. <laughs> has- it's really about the tone, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. The dog knows you mean business. Yes. Exactly. Very much yes. so. I'm serious. Yes. Dan, you want to say the thing? What's on the docket with uh, with old DP so we can kind of help you decide what to go with here? It's just dolphins. I, oh, I assume. Wow. I, and I want to be dressed like this without an explanation that I'm dressed like this by mm-hmm. saying something so shocking that Dan Patrick gets on his show something that steals it from us. That we can't get it on our show, whatever the viral moment is. Like, what can I, what what can I do to make a mess of Dan Patrick or to create some sort of anarchy over there? That I think you just walk into that Zoom looking the way that you are, and you make the impact you're looking for, Dano. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where's okay. DP with the Dolphins? Does yeah. he does he think they're good? Does do he think Tua is good? Him? Like, do I pretend? Like, do I get enraged on behalf of the Dolphins that they're clearly the best team in the land, and I will. Work. You should go the other way. Suffer no rebuttal. You should say this Dolphin team is overrated. Everyone's you know, getting carried yeah, away. They won two games. That. They had no yeah. business winning. Yeah, if you want to make news. Watch out for those lines. Right. No. If yeah. someone, if someone came to them on my show and I trusted them as a guest and just started saying things without conviction, I'd be pretty pissed off. Yeah. You're strolling into that Zoom looking goddamn ridiculous. That's enough. Yeah. And then you say the Dolphins are going all the way. Super Bowl. Is that what I have to do to be to win? Is that is that is that? Let's say it on DP I, show. Or, or you could do one thing that you've avoided for three years, and that's actually share a legit opinion right. on the man. You just kind of come <laughs> at all of us. Like, yeah. what are your Ooh, thoughts on Tua? Oh, yeah. You're crazy. Yeah. So what do you want me to do? Make a choice? Give, you like, yes. give him your honest opinion. <laughs> give him yes. your yes. first two opinion. Right. Yeah. Yes. Have that be the exclusive. Okay. <laughs> Not for <laughs> your show, for the Dan Patrick show. Personal thoughts on the man. I'm printing out the schedule. You do wins losses with him. Yes, that a boy. Yes. Yes. Or just, just start singing the dolphin fight song. There you That's go. That's another alternative. <laughs> or low, low, low your boat. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Yeah, that yes. one. Yeah, yeah. Low, Gently towards low, the dream. Low, low, low your boat. Gently towards the dream. Yeah. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a <laughs> My dad goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bay. You used to do that with like our old dog, where you, they would make some noise whenever they would like think they hear someone outside. You would like mock Sandy with like a. Bow. Well, dogs make that sound sometimes when they bark. When a dog is when they fart. No, no like wh- a dog when it's like unsure of something, but they don't know something. It's right. more of like a. Bow. Yeah, just like yes. I'm gonna like I, in right. case like, there's a, in like case there's somebody mark. out there, yeah. I want yeah. you right. to know I'm here. Like, like a Tim the Tool Man Taylor grunt. Dogs make a human Bow. sound when they're Perfect. yawning. When a dog yawns, it makes a human sound. Oh, hey. That kind of thing. <laughs> you do that when you yawn? Yeah. Humans do. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you got to let it out and make a noise. You right. do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I do now when I yawn is, hi, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin's dog used to say hello. You'd go to the front door and you'd be like, hello, hello, hello. And you'd go, hello. Yeah. yeah that's every amazing. time. Yeah. Did you ever see the viral video of the I dog that, that just kept saying Ira? No. Yeah. no. Dog that says Ira, Ira, Ira. <laughs> Sun Sentinel subscriber, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Winderman.